Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 10 of Book 4. In this proposition, we are going to show the methods required to draw a very special kind of an isosceles triangle. Now, since an isosceles, by definition, beta is equal to gamma. But what makes this isosceles triangle different is that beta is twice the angle of alpha, and similarly, gamma is also twice the angle of alpha. So this is what we wish to construct. Now to do so, we start with a straight line, AB. Any straight line will do. And now we find the point C on the line AB, such that this equation holds AB times BC equals CA squared. The method for finding the point C on the line AB is described in detail in Proposition 11 of Book 2. If you'd like to, you can always go back and have a look at that proposition to refresh your memory if you want to know how it was constructed. The next thing we do is we draw a circle where A is the center and AB is the radius. And now we copy the line AC to the point B just like we was shown in Proposition 1 of Book 4. And we label this point D. So again, AC is equal to BD. And we join the line AD. And now we have an isosceles triangle where the angle at B is twice the angle at A, and the angle at D is twice the angle at A. And that is how we construct our special isosceles. Now to prove that it has the properties that we say it does, let's continue. So what I've done here is I've written the equations that are true because of the way that we've constructed our lines. So these do not have to be proven, they are there because of the way we constructed it. Remember we picked point C so that this equation holds true, and we drew the line BD so that this equation is also true. Now, since BD is equal to AC by construction, we can take this equation here, substitute BD for AC, and end up with this equation. So there's nothing fancy going on yet. Now we're going to draw the line BD. Sorry, we draw the line CD. And now we have drawn a circle that passes through all the vertices of this triangle using the methods described in Proposition 5 of this book. Now, let's look at this circle and these two lines. We have a line that touches the point or touches the circle at D and cuts the circle at point C and A. And according to Proposition 37 of Book 3, if this equation holds, so if AB times BC is equal to BD all squared, then BD touches the circle. This is very important. BD touches the circle. Now, since BD touches the circle, again, going back to Book 3, and this time Proposition 32, if we have a line, that touches a circle, and another line that cuts through the circle, then the angle, in this case gamma, will be equal to the angle in the opposite segment, in other words, alpha. So we have that alpha and gamma are equal. Again, if you wish to refresh your memory, you can always go back and look at Proposition 32, Book 3. Now let's look at the angle lambda. Lambda is equal to gamma plus theta. Well, let's start with this equation, our original one. We had alpha is equal to gamma. So if we add theta to both sides of the equation, we have alpha plus theta equals, of course, gamma plus theta, because we're adding equals to equals. And that is equal to this angle that I've called lambda. 
So in other words, lambda is equal to alpha plus theta. Now look, let's look at this angle phi. It is an outside angle of a triangle. And if you recall from Proposition 32 of Book 1, the outside or exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite. So phi is equal to alpha plus theta. Well, since phi is equal to alpha plus theta and lambda is equal to alpha plus theta, thus we have that lambda and phi are equal. Now, AB and AD are equal since they are radii of this large circle, which means that ABD is an isosceles triangle and that beta is equal to lambda. So if beta is equal to lambda and lambda is equal to phi, so beta is equal to phi. Let's look at this little triangle here, BCD. Beta is equal to phi, which means that it is an isosceles triangle, and CD is equal to BD. Now, since CD is equal to BD, and BD is equal to AC, remember that was by construction, we have that CD equals BD equals AC, or in other words, AC is equal to CD. So if AC is equal to CD, we have another isosceles triangle. And if this is an isosceles triangle, then the two base angles are equal. So alpha is equal to theta. Well, we had that lambda was equal to beta, and we had that lambda is equal to alpha plus theta but alpha and theta are equal, so lambda is equal to beta is equal to twice alpha. So there we have shown that this is an isosceles triangle, but more importantly, that beta is twice the angle alpha and lambda is twice the angle of alpha. And so there we have proven that this isosceles triangle is or has the special properties that we say it has. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.